In this lecture, we are going to learn about constructors and destructors in inheritance. Okay, so what does it mean? So in this, we want to analyze that how the constructors and destructors are called when an object of a derived class is created. Okay, so for example, let's say that we have the base class that is animal. Okay now you know that okay your dog class okay so dog derives from animal because dog is an animal so it follows is a relationship so it's inheritance so the dog class inherits from animal and let's say we have another class which is sporting dog okay so dog that takes part in some kind of sports so what will happen so this is another class that is derived from the dog class so now if i ask you the question that let's say i have this class is sporting dog okay so i create one class sport instance of sporting dog okay sd okay so now when we know that okay whenever an object is initialized okay is created so its constructor is called but the question here is that the sporting dog is in fact it is defined in three classes because of the inheritance nature of this class sporting dog is derived from dog and the dog class is derived from the animal class okay so how will the constructors be called okay will the Will it the constructor of animal call first, then dog, then sporting dog? Or will it be at the way around that, okay, sporting dog constructor is called, then dog's constructor, then animal's constructor, okay? So what should be the mechanism? We know that, okay, because the sporting dog is first, it is an animal, okay? It has all the properties of animal. Then it is a dog and then finally it is sporting dog. It has some features of special features which make it sporting dog. Okay, so what happens in C++ when you write sporting dog SD? So first, what happens? The constructor of base class animal will be called. Okay, so first animal class constructor is called. Second dog class constructor is called. And finally, your last is the sporting dog constructor will be called okay so these three how the constructors are called so in your hierarchy if what if we just defined a dog object like dog d so then it was animal constructor would have been called and then your dog constructor was called okay so this is how it happens now let's see what happens when the object is going out of scope okay so we need to remove it from the memory so the destructor now what happens so if you see so the destructor will be first called for the sporting dog okay so destructor of sporting dog is called first then the destructor of dog will be called and finally the destructor of animal will be called okay so it's kind of a stack so you first make the animal okay when the animal is created you can make it dog when the dog is also complete you can add features for sporting dog okay so it's kind of the stack so first the base class is placed then next class and then finally the last derived class sporting dog now when you have to pop out so it will be first in case of destructors it will be sporting dog then it will be dog and finally the destructor of animal will be called okay so this is how the constructors and destructors work in case of inheritance let's check it with some real code okay so that will make us sure so we have here one animal class okay so this is the animal class we have it's constructor animal and we have written that okay in constructor of animal no arguments are there and this is a fancy way of 
writing initializing all the arguments okay animal then m h zero we initialize it with zero weight also zero initialized height zero initialized okay in destructor i just write in destructor of animal then we have the getters and setters for all these three members and these three members age weight and height they are all int and they are protected okay so this is there now what happens is we have class dog it is derived from animal public inheritance now what happens the dog it calls the constructor of dog we print it okay and we say that okay breed is labrador so now one thing to note is when we are writing dog constructor for dog so i'm not calling here i'm not calling that okay that call the function again okay it automatically happens okay uh, constructor of the derived class okay constructor of derived class so it automatically calls constructor of base class okay so that happens so here when i write the dog so this constructor it automatically calls the constructor of dog class but there is one question that might arise to you that now if there are more than one constructors okay constructor overloading so which one will be called so it is always the default constructor that is called okay so it is always the default constructor unless otherwise you call yourself some other constructor okay so default constructor is one with no argument okay so it is the default constructor so what happens dog constructor is there and then there is the destructor and it has one protected member breed okay so this is there so now what happens is we have another class sports dog sports dog also has its constructor and it will also automatically call the default constructor of the dog class okay now let's have simply try to verify what we wrote i make an object of dog class just build this it is running fine let's try to see the code okay so in constructor of animal okay so we first when you create a dog object so constructor of animal is called in constructor of dog then we go to the constructor of dog we don't do anything in this code so it goes out of scope this and before doing that destructor of dog is called and then the destructor of animal is called so that you can have the cleanup of your code so this is there now let's see the same thing like we had now two level of hierarchy key sport sports dog it was derived from dog and dog was derived from animal okay so let's build it and run it so in constructor of animals so when sports dog was created first constructor animal was called then constructor of dog and finally constructor of sports dog was called when this was going out of scope destructor of sports dog then destructor of dog and finally destructor of animal is called so this proves that okay first so it's kind of stack the base class constructor is called then the, the derived class and the derived derived class when you call out go out of scope the destructor of the top class is called which is the latest derived class then finally it calls the destructor of the base class so i hope you understand this thanks a lot